Hi everyone and welcome to our Tuesday love reading. I am going to use my Romance Angels deck and I'm also going to use my Tarot of Sexual Magic. So we're going to use these decks to find out what is going on um, in kind of love, soul connections and relationships. So don't get hung up on labels and if it resonates, it resonates. Don't worry if it doesn't. These are general readings so not every message will resonate for you and that's okay. But let's find out what we need to hear today about love. So I'm going to start with the tarot. We have the Knave of Swords, but it came out in reverse. So I kind of feel like right now, maybe you're waiting to catch someone's attention. There's a person here who I actually feel has been a little bit distant. Um... It's like usually they're very upfront about how they feel, but maybe recently you've noticed that they've been a little bit aloof, a little bit cool towards you perhaps. Perhaps you've been waiting for a new beginning here with this person because I'm showing one, 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 and it just feels like things are a little bit stuck here. So recently there is like this person who's kind of pulled back a little bit. But they're also still very protective over you, this King of Wands. So even though this person may not be giving you the attention that you're used to, they still feel, you know, like they want to take care of you, they want to provide for you. This is someone who is very, very loyal, very prote protective. Um, they may be younger than you or like less experienced in relationships because I do feel that you're teaching this person a lot. They admire you, they see you as a very powerful person. So, you know, this is someone who, you know, is trying to maybe find themselves, find their own strength and confidence so that they can approach you and be maybe more balanced. This person very clearly doesn't feel... <sighs> they don't feel confident around you. They still you know, have some insecurities that they haven't resolved. So let's see what is going on right now here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I really do feel like this person is hesitating on giving you an offer. They're waiting for the right time. This is someone who maybe is normally very romantic, but they, they aren't being right now. So at present, I kind of feel that there's a little bit of distance here. This could be physical distance as well as emotional distance. But yeah, it seems like there's some uncertainty about what's going on between you both. Things need to be said. I'm sure this person really does want to express their feelings, but they also don't want to get rejected. So this person has a very big fear of rejection. Rejection. They have some abandonment wounds, which um, you know get triggered quite a lot around you. So... Yeah, this person's clearly not giving you that attention right now, but they also feel like you're being a little bit distant. So whoever you're dealing with is actually thinking that you're the one who's pulling back right now. You're not giving them time or attention. And it's interesting because both of you feel the same way about one another. So this could be cleared up with like a conversation. You know, if you guys are in a relationship already or kind of like dating, maybe you just need to speak about this because it feels like both of you feel very similar and things just need to kind of um, be cleared up a little bit so you both have clarity about what's going on right now. We have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords does speak about some kind of breakthrough in communication. Um, it also talks of like this fresh start. So right now, it's like the air is being cleared between you both so that you can start again, so that you can experience like this next chapter. I do think your person doesn't like being controlled or restricted. So maybe, you know, you had found yourself slipping back into like an old pattern of you know, being a little bit clingy perhaps, and this person could have pulled back because of that. Um, you need to, to both give each other some space right now. I feel that as you give each other space, communication is going to improve. So if things seem a little bit quiet, do not worry. It's not a disaster. Just allow this, you know, time of kind of 
reflection and withdrawal because from this, it does seem like things are going to pick up. So, you know, even my Instagram reading today, actually, I got the hermit and it was like, you know, you need to maybe take a step back so that you can see things clearly. And this will definitely help not only yourself, but also this connection. So I just want to use the Romance Angels before we carry on with the tarot. So let us find out something we need to know about this. We have romantic feelings. So both of you clearly have very strong feelings for one another and it is safe to explore these feelings. Honestly, I think someone's scared. Whether this is you or them, I feel that there's a big fear here about how can I explore these feelings without getting lost in the depths? You know, whoever you're connecting to here is worried about telling you how they feel or worried about really opening up and letting you in their heart space in case they get rejected or hurt or maybe even in case you start trying to control them. This person does not have, um, you know, the healthiest relationships in their past. They've definitely been restricted. They've definitely been, you know, manipulated and controlled. Um, I'm, I'm being told they have experienced the toxic feminine. So this could also be from their mother. It doesn't just have to be from previous relationships. But they're not used to a divine feminine. They're not used to someone who is, you know, balanced and loving and able to love in a healthy capacity. So this person right now is scared about opening up and really letting the depths of their feelings be felt because they also don't want to be deceived you know they don't want to be let down or hurt so this person may feel like they're wearing a mask maybe they feel like they're being distant right now but they're doing this because of some kind of old wounds which are being triggered so let's keep going with the tarot so let's see what we can expect to see here Wow, two twos flew out. We have the two of pentacles and the two of swords, along with a bunch of others which fell out face down. So twos are all about balance, relationships, partnerships. <coughs> oh, bless me. This actually indicates that this person's going to be surprising you with some kind of offer. I mean, look at those cards. He's creeping up on her and he's got a rose in his hand in the other one. So this person is clearly planning something romantic for you but they do want this to be a surprise rather than something that maybe you know about you know this person is um full of surprises they really are they're full of surprises they're full of romance as well when they feel safe to explore this romantic side um the key word here is safety. You know, safety is so important to this person. So things, like I said, may feel a little bit stuck right now, but I do see this person surprising you with some kind of romantic offer. They're going to be overcoming their fear of rejection or abandonment so that they can come to you with this. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to visit the zoo or a farm or something. I just see a very big open space and I'm showing lots of animals. So maybe a day trip to where there's animals. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, this person clearly wants to ask you out somewhere. I feel they want to take you outdoors. Um, it seems like the offer is more of a date or a getaway here. But... The, the air is going to be cleared, you know, your doubts, your suspicions aren't going to linger too much longer. I do feel this person is very focused on clearing the air with you. They don't want to, um, they don't want to leave things hanging here, you know, they don't want to leave things in suspense. They actually haven't really gone anywhere. They've just, you know, distanced themselves a little bit so that they can work through these emotions and allow themselves to basically explore their feelings for you. We have the world. So you don't have to, you know, really question how this person feels. It's very apparent that they really do admire you. They worship you. This is someone who wants to kind of give everything they have to you. But because of past conditioning or because of their experiences with the toxic feminine, they don't know how to do this in a healthy way. They don't know how to give you what they want to give you um 
without this fear of like, are you then going to take control? Are you going to hurt them or manipulate them? So I do feel things just need to be spoke about. Let us get a message from this person before we continue. So let's see what this person wants to say to you. I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. But look, I can't let go of the past. So yeah, this is really confirming what I've said so far. This person has seen a future with you, but they're struggling to let go of their previous experiences. However, they want you to stop overthinking. So these are my team message decks, guys. You can get these on my Etsy store if you're interested. They want you to stop overthinking because look, I want to marry you, my love. So, wow, this is getting like pretty strong. I actually think this person's already made their mind up about what they want with you. Even if you're not with this person right now in a relationship, it, it kind of feels like they're going to be here quite soon. I honestly feel like two weeks, two months, but even two months feels like a big time. Um, so yeah, I want to marry you, my love. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to go into the extended, and in the extended, we're going to look into a lot more about the future here, because this person clearly has seen a future with you. They want to marry you. That's come out in two different decks. That's no coincidence. So we're going to see what is the future this person seen. And I want to try and get some timelines here um, about when we can expect these proposals and stuff. So let's see what comes through in the extended. We're going to focus on the future for that one. So yeah, I hope to see you guys over on the extended on Sacred Space. Details of how to do that as well as a sneak preview of the extended um, is on the rest of this video. So keep watching. Links are in the description box below. I will see you guys over there. And if I don't see you there, I'll see you back here tomorrow for our next morning message. Our next love reading will be on Friday, but in the morning messages, sometimes we get love messages as well. Um, because I basically channel whatever messages like you guys need to hear. Um you know, my readings really are focused around the people who watch the videos, you know, that's how this works. So basically, whatever messages you guys need to hear, you know, I'm channeling messages for you. So do watch for morning messages as well, not just for love readings, because you might find that you get some, um, you know, insight in both those readings. But yeah, our next morning message is tomorrow and our next love reading is Friday. Um, I'll see you guys in the extended on Sacred Space. For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to be evolved here for full access to the Sacred Space site. Ability, we've got the wheel. So the good news is this person comes in very suddenly. I feel a very big shift here. They give you an offer.